have before me the Lenovo Legion Pro 5 and the Acer Nitro 16. Two Ryzen laptops with RTX 4070s and 16 gigs of RAM that both pack a punch at around the same price points. So the question is, which one is right for you? Let's dive into the build quality, usability, and then performance of each of these laptops to help you make a purchasing decision. Now, first and foremost, from a build quality standpoint, I'm gonna show you why I think the Lenovo Legion Pro 5 is a better pick. We have an aluminum top cover, whereas on the Nitro, we have all plastic design. Now, even though we do have a plastic bottom cover on the Lenovo Legion Pro 5, I like the plastic material better. You can see on the Acer Nitro, it's this like bumpy, kind of cheaper plastic that we've seen Acer use throughout the years, and I just don't love it. I think it's just could be a better type of plastic like we see used on the Legion Pro. It just has more of a premium aesthetic. It's actually kind of hard to tell. Is this a piece of aluminum? Is this a piece of plastic? It has, you know, a positively deceptive view and feel to the touch. This, you're like, that's definitely plastic. Now, from an assembly standpoint, Acer has done very well assembling the bottom cover to the side panels of the laptop. Nice seamless edge here, smooth, no catchy edge, looks great. Now, Lenovo is a little bit different than years past. You can see we have a bit of a catchy edge because the bottom cover fits into the side panel, kind of creating this little lip. Not sharp, but it is a noticeable edge. And one thing I do like about it this year though, is that you no longer have to pull off the back ports. It just pulls straight out from the bottom. And so it doesn't pull this back cover along with it like in years past with the Lenovo Legion Pro 5. So really nice change in how the bottom cover pulls off. And speaking of the bottom cover pulling off, the upgrade path on both the Lenovo Legion Pro 5 and the Acer Nitro 5 can upgrade both RAM sticks and both SSDs. So it comes with one occupied M.2 slot and one unoccupied M.2 slot in both of these laptops. So I'm really liking the upgrade path on each of these laptops. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the ports. On the left side panel, we have USB type A, headphone jack, manual cutoff switch for the webcam for the Legion Pro 5. And we have two USB type A's and a Kensington lock for the Acer Nitro 5. Switching over to the left side panel, USB type A and USB type C for the Legion. Network port, USB type A, micro SD card reader and headphone jack for the Acer Nitro 5. Now along the back panel, we have our network port, USB type C, HDMI, two USB type A and our power adapter. Power adapter for the Acer Nitro 16, HDMI and two USB type C's. So actually we're seeing a little bit of more of a port option with the micro SD card reader from the Acer Nitro 16. Save an extra 6% on a Lenovo Legion laptop by heading down in the description below, clicking the link and using the discount code BENKAISER6. That will give you an extra 6% off even sale prices of a Lenovo Legion or Legion Lock laptop, and it's good till the end of the year. So head down in the description below, click the link, and use the code BENKAISER6. Save yourself some extra money. Don't even have to wait for the Black Friday deals. Now looking at the weight and thickness, I'm gonna show you something real quick. You can actually see that the Nitro 16 is a little bit wider than the Pro 5. So you got a little bit of an extra chassis there bump out uh, where that vent comes out. Now for the weight and thickness, they're pretty close, honestly. It's hard to tell the difference in the weight and thickness. Weight is pretty similar. You see the weight and thickness coming up on the screen. And as I set them down, the Nitro 16 is a little bit thicker. They both have a leg Edge, as you can see here, but as mentioned, the Nitro 16 is definitely a thicker laptop. Now going ahead and opening and closing the screen with one hand, let's take a look at that really quickly. Opens and closes easily with one hand on both of these laptops. Now let's go ahead and check out the screen flex. This plastic top cover is definitely a lot more flexy than the Lenovo Legion Pro 5. Um, definitely a little bit more rigid for the aluminum top cover. Now, one thing I wanna take a look at is the webcam. Here's a quick sample of each of the webcams in use. So you can see what they look like and hear what they sound like. This is the webcam on the Acer Nitro 16 and a little sample of the audio for you as well. This is the webcam on the Lenovo Legion Pro 5 and a little sample of the audio for you as well. And of course they both have speakers. What would be a laptop without speakers? And here's a quick audio sample of each of the speakers in use. Now the keyboards and trackpads have a lot of similarities. They both have numpads on the right side, 
<clears throat> we have arrow keys, full size arrow keys. However, when it comes to the Legion, I like how they've pushed the arrow keys down to keep us with a full size shift key. They give us a two third side shift key for the Nitro 16. I don't like the two third size shift key and Acer seems to do that a lot with their laptops. It's just a little bit of a burn. My saddle, don't know how you feel about it, but I don't like it. Now I will say that the track pads are just about the same size. You can see there's little, little differences. The Nitro 16 is a tiny bit bigger and rounded a bit more around the edges. However, it's a little rattly to the touch, to the tap, should I say. You can feel it's not as secured to the chassis as the Lenovo Legion Pro 5. Here's a quick sample of me using the keyboards and trackpads so you can hear what they sound like in use for how much noise they make. You do have a number of power modes inside of the command centers of each of these laptops. However, Lenovo offers you much more control over the system. You have iGPU mode, you have dedicated GPU mode where you know, you're know you only using the dedicated GPU and not the internal graphics or vice versa. Um, you have GPU overclock, network boost. There's just a lot more functionality and options inside of the Lenovo Vantage Center compared to the Nitro Sense command center on Acer. So just keep that in mind. I definitely prefer the uh, Lenovo over the Acer command center. From a display standpoint, the Lenovo Legion Pro 5 has a better display. You can see the results coming up on the screen. One thing that really stands out to me is the brightness and the color accuracy. So we're gonna have a little bit better color accuracy, a bit more brightness. Uh, as we get to the Acer Nitro, you can see that we also don't have as much brightness, as much color gamut range, or as much color accuracy. Uh, but that brightness is really nice if you're working outdoors a lot. You can definitely counteract the sun so you can see your screen a little bit better. You're getting about 70 extra nits of brightness with the Pro 5. Now, battery life is one area where the Acer Nitro outpaces the Lenovo Legion Pro 5. We have the laptop set to battery saver mode in Windows, 20% screen brightness, 60 hertz refresh rate on the panel, quiet mode in the command center. And then for the Lenovo Legion, we actually switched to iGPU mode only. So we turn off the dedicated GPU, where in the Acer, we're unable to do that. So it's basically running its own computations automatically to distribute power accordingly. And it actually does a really good job with that Ryzen 9 7940HS processor to give us almost an hour more of battery out of the laptop in some of the tests. So really cool to see the results there from the Acer and that Ryzen processor getting us some better performance. So if that's interesting to you, you might wanna consider the Acer Nitro 16. Now, if you're curious about the exact pricing and availability between these two laptops, they're pretty neck and neck from a price point, but check the live pricing using the links in the description below. And remember, if you do make a purchase, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But of course, that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. Right now, you can actually save an extra 6% off on Lenovo using the discount code BENKAISER6 and click the link below. So you have to click the link below and use the discount code BENKAISER6 and you'll get an extra 6% off of your laptop. That's on top of whatever sale is already going on. So it's a really great discount code. Definitely use that and always keep in mind, I will get a small commission from that. Now, without further ado, let's get into the benchmarks. Remember, we're testing the Ryzen 7 7745HX and an RTX 4070 inside of Lenovo Legion Pro 5 versus the Ryzen 9 7940HS and RTX 4070 inside of the Acer Nitro 16. Taking a look at Geekbench single core, multi-core, as well as Cinebench R23 and 2024, you can see that those results are coming up on the screen right now. You can check out the different data, see if that actually fits your needs from a simulated benchmark standpoint. love the real world test. So let's get into the Photoshop benchmark. Now, as you can see the results coming up on the screen, we have the Acer Nitro 16 scoring a 968 versus the Lenovo Legion Pro 5 scoring a 1002. So definitely a bit of an advantage by choosing that HX processor over the HS processor. So kind of tricky there. You have a Ryzen 7 
outperforming a Ryzen 9, but that HS is a lower TDP, the HX is a higher TDP, meaning there's more performance coming out of that processor. Now going ahead and moving on to After Effects, you can see that we have the Acer Nitro 16 at 887 and the Pro 5 at a 923. Both are great scores. Above 800 is really solid for After Effects. Now keep in mind, if you upgrade both of these laptops from 16 to 32 gigs of RAM, it will increase the performance inside of Photoshop and After Effects because both of those programs really like RAM and that would be a great upgrade for either of them. Now looking at Blender Classroom, these are both RTX 4070s and we're seeing an advantage come out of once again, the Pro 5, 1,081 versus a 1,028. Not a huge advantage, but definitely a few points higher coming out of the Pro 5. For Autodesk 3ds Max, Autodesk Maya, and PTC Creo, we are seeing an advantage of the Pro 5. So keep in mind, we're gonna have a bit more performance out of the Pro 5 for those programs. And taking a look at SolidWorks, same thing, you're gonna have an advantage by going with the Pro 5. So as we've seen so far, having that Ryzen 7 7745HX is gonna give you better performance than that Ryzen 9 with the HS, just holding a higher thermal limit for longer, giving it better performance inside of these programs. Now going ahead and looking at video editing, let's look at the playback. Both laptops are solid for 4K. When it comes to 6K, we're seeing a little bit better performance out of the Legion Pro, but not by a ton. Definitely a bit of more of a spread with the red footage, 102 versus 1,187. But honestly, both these laptops would perform well because this is out of 16,177 total frames in the project. So both laptops I think will be good. Now let's go ahead and take a look at Premiere Pro. The first clip we're gonna look at is a nine minute 4K clip put into Premiere Pro and exported out at full quality 4K settings. And you can see we have a two minute and 26 second export time out of both of these laptops. So whether you use the Nitro, or the Pro 5, you're gonna be in good hands. Now looking at 6K, you can see the Acer Nitro has a 16 minute and 26 second export time versus the 16 minute and 39 second export time out of the Pro 5. Again, neck and neck. What if you're a DaVinci Resolve user? Four minutes and 38 seconds out of the Acer Nitro 16 and five minutes and 27 seconds out of the Lenovo Legion Pro 5. So that tells me that if you're a DaVinci Resolve user, you're gonna have a minute benefit on the export time for that nine minute clip. So if you go ahead and you put that up to an hour project, you're gonna save 10, maybe 20 minutes of export time. So that could be an advantage to you if you're doing a lot of exporting of longer video footage. Overall, the Lenovo Legion Pro 5 is outperforming the Acer Nitro 16 on most benchmarks. And that's before we even talk about the build quality differences. I think Lenovo is really on their game with the Legion series over the past two to three years, and they truly continue to get better. So right now at the price point with these being so close, I would go Lenovo Legion if I were deciding between these two laptops. Links in the description if you're ready to make a purchase or you wanna check the live pricing right now. Otherwise, click or tap the screen here for more videos to help you through purchasing decision. I'll see you here in the next one.